welcome to our Rock Your Routine in 2019. This series has fitness, we have health and nutrition, we have meal plans and prep, we have food lists, and more than anything, we have a lot of support. This is a six week journey with me and I hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for what's to come. Hi guys, welcome to Rocking Your Routine, What to Eat. So we're gonna talk a little bit today about what we should be filling our cupboards and our refrigerator with, what we want in our diet, and maybe a little bit about what we don't want as well and some common mistakes that we can make. So let me just go ahead and tell you a little bit about what we do wanna fill our cupboards and our refrigerator with. Number one is going to be vegetables. And vegetables that you can eat as much as you want of are things like broccoli, cucumber, celery, Brussels sprouts, um, we have radicchio, all of the different greens like kale, collards, mustard. Um, we also have things like arugula, we have softer, more tender greens, we have spinach. Those are the types of veggies that you can fill your belly with. Okay, moving on to our starchy veggies, we have sweet potatoes. This is the one I mainly recommend. Um, you can also do the Okinawa purple sweet potatoes. I say three servings of sweet potato a week. Um, I wouldn't go higher than that if you're looking to lose some weight in this six week challenge. I would also use that as a substitute. So if you didn't decide to have one of those three servings of sweet potato or squash, which is another starchy carb you're allowed, then I would substitute that with something else I really wanted that was a carb, like an extra piece of fruit or maybe a glass of wine. Okay, so three servings of that type of carb a week if you're looking to lose weight in this six week challenge. If you're not looking to lose weight in this challenge and you just wanna maintain, but you wanna tone and feel really good about your body, then you can have a serving of sweet potato or starchy carb kind of veggie a day. So that would be your squash, your carrots, like a nice carrot soup, your sweet potato, and then also those can be subbed by your fruit servings. So in a maintenance program, I would say one serving of fruit a day and one serving of starchy vegetable. Again, if you're looking to lose weight, I would only go with three servings a week. And you can daily have one serving of berries. So berries are allowed every day, but the other fruits like mango, banana, cherries, um, I, I would stay away from grapes completely on this because there's so much sugar. Um, but your other kind of really yummy fruits like strawberries and things like that, kiwi fruit, you could have one serving three times a week if you're looking to lose weight, okay? So the next category is your proteins. If you are a meat eater, I want you to stick with grass-fed organic meats and you can do mostly lean protein. So you can do chicken, turkey, I would suggest bison, buffalo, um, very lean ground beef. You can do lean cuts of steak three times a week. You can do um, things like eggs. I want you to do organic, really good, good local, if you can, eggs. Um, and you know, that's just all around for everything I would try and suggest to stay as local and organic as possible with all of your foods. So that's um, your animal proteins. You can also do fish. I would suggest low mercury fish, and I'll give you that whole list of what I suggest. Um, mussels are good, shrimp, you can do salmon, um, so there's definitely a range of different proteins you can have if you do eat animal protein. If you are vegan and you're following this program, totally fine. The proteins I would suggest for you would be any type of bean. These are lentils, you could do lentils, garbanzos, black beans. Um, you can also do tempeh and tofu as protein substitutes. So those are great if you're doing a vegan plan. All right, on to our next category, which is nuts and seeds. For nuts and seeds, oh wait, let me go back. I forgot to mention in the protein, we wanna have three servings of lean protein a day, okay? So we're at five servings of veggies, green, yummy, delicious veggies. We're at three servings of animal protein or 
protein for a vegan, which would be your beans, your tempeh, your tofu. So on to nuts and seeds. This is my favorite almond butter of the moment. Um, simple, natural, primal, base culture. I love this almond butter. It is paleo friendly. That's kind of, you know, what this routine resembles um, in a lot of ways. And it's a really great way of life. So I suggest this one. It has no additives. It's gluten free. It's really delicious. And I think almond butter is a really nice little treat as a snack if you were doing your one serving, which is what you're allowed of a nut or a nut butter a day, you could have that with something like the green apple or the celery, and that would be a really delicious snack. You could also just have a handful of nuts, Brazil nuts, cashews, walnuts, almonds, you name it, nuts are great. Just don't overdo it. One serving a day, they are high in fat, okay? Fat is my next category. So fats are great for you. They're super, super great for you. But again, we don't wanna overdo it. We don't want to fill up on fat. We want to fill up on the good, green, yummy veggies. So yes, you can have half an avocado. Yes, you can have olive oil. Yes, you can have coconut oil, avocado oil, um, flaxseed oil, hemp oil. I want you to fill your pantry with good, healthy, clean oils. The ones I want you to stay away from are heavy saturated fats like canola oil, vegetable oil, anything hydrogenated. That's what we want to stay away from. I stick to mainly olive oil in my house. That's just what we like. And if I'm looking for a clean neutral oil, I go with grapeseed oil. Next, we're going to move on to your sweeteners. You can use maple syrup, you can use honey, you can use dates, vanilla, and stevia. Those are the sweeteners I recommend. Stevia would be my first pick. Dates would be my second pick. And then the other ones I would use very sparing, sparingly and mindfully. Another thing you can have is one serving of dairy substitute. So that would be something like almond milk, cashew milk, coconut yogurt, um, almond milk cheese. There's all kinds of different dairy substitutes, but I would only suggest one serving of those per day. Our next category is going to be drinks. I would stick with water. I suggest for the six weeks you do my detox water, which is just clean, pure water with slices of lemon, ginger, and you can alternate the next one. I've been doing cucumber, but you could also do mint. I've heard that a lot of people are really liking doing mint. So you could do both, you could do either. Um, and I suggest sipping on that water all day long. Okay, so I think that pretty much covers everything. As for your coffees and your teas, do what your preference is, but if you're sticking with our meal plan, this is where I want you to begin. So I'll give you that full list of everything and I hope that explains some of it to you. I will see you in the next video.